Exploring Family Dynamics, an Insightful English Conversation Hey Jennifer, I was thinking about how everyone describes their family differently. How would you describe yours? Hi Thomas. That's a thoughtful question. I usually say, I come from a loving, albeit small, family. It's just my parents, my brother, and me. We're very close. How about you? My family's quite large. I have three siblings, so including my parents, there are six of us. It's always lively at our house. That sounds wonderful. Having a big family must mean you rarely have a dull moment. Absolutely, it's non-stop action and I wouldn't have it any other way. What's something special you guys do as a family? We have this tradition of family game nights every Friday. It's our way of catching up and spending quality time together. What about you? Any special traditions? Every summer, we go on a family camping trip. It's great because we get to disconnect from technology and really connect with each other. That sounds like a perfect way to bond. Speaking of bonding, how do you deal with disagreements in such a big family? Good communication is key for us. We make sure everyone feels heard. It's not always easy, but it helps us understand each other better. I agree, communication is vital. In my family, we try to have open and honest conversations, especially when we disagree. It's interesting to see how different families have their unique ways of handling things. I believe these differences make each family special. Exactly, and learning about them helps us appreciate our own families more. Thanks for sharing, Thomas. I feel like I understand your family dynamics a bit better now. Likewise, Jennifer. It's been a great conversation. I'm looking forward to more like this. Exploring Worlds, a chat on sci-fi and historical wonders. Hey Isabella, I've been meaning to ask you, what type of movies or TV shows do you usually enjoy watching? Hi Luther. I actually love diving into science fiction movies and historical documentaries. They just transport me to entirely different worlds. What about you? That's fascinating. I have a soft spot for sci-fi myself. The way these movies imagine the future or alternate realities is just mind-blowing. And historical documentaries can be incredibly insightful. It's like traveling back in time without a time machine. Exactly, it's the storytelling and the imaginative aspects that draw me in. Science fiction allows us to explore the what-ifs of society, technology, and the universe. And with historical documentaries, learning about past cultures and events really puts the present in perspective. Couldn't agree more. Do you have any favorite movies or series in those genres? One of my all-time favorite science fiction movies has to be Interstellar. It beautifully combines science, drama, and the exploration of deep space. As for historical documentaries, the World at War series is incredibly powerful and enlightening. What about you, any favorites? Interstellar is a masterpiece for sure. I'm a big fan of Blade Runner 2049 for its visual storytelling and deep philosophical questions. Regarding documentaries, Civilizations is amazing for its exploration of art history and human creativity across different cultures and eras. Blade Runner 2049 is visually stunning indeed. And I'll definitely check out Civilizations. It sounds right up my alley. Speaking of which, how do you usually discover new movies or documentaries? Mostly through recommendations from friends and online reviews. Streaming services also do a great job at suggesting titles based on what I've watched before. 
How about you? Similar here. I also love browsing forums and social media groups dedicated to movie buffs and history enthusiasts. It's a great way to come across hidden gems. That's a great idea. It's always exciting to find something new and unexpected. Say, would you be interested in watching a documentary together sometime? Maybe something historical or a new sci fi series? I'd love that. It would be great to share thoughts and insights on it in real time. Let's pick something and plan a movie night. Perfect. I'll look into some options and get back to you. It's going to be fun exploring new worlds together. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. See you soon, Luther. See you, Isabella. Take care. Everyday banking simplified, opening an account, managing your money, and more. Hi Fiona. I'm thinking about opening a new bank account but I'm not sure where to start. Can you help me? Of course, Albert. Opening a bank account is the first step to managing your money. Do you know the difference between a savings and a checking account? Not really. Can you explain? Sure. A savings account is for storing money you don't need right away. It earns interest over time. A checking account is for daily use, like buying things and paying bills. I see. I guess I need a checking account then. What do I need to open one? You'll need some identification, like a passport or driver's license, and sometimes proof of address. Each bank has different requirements, so it's best to check their website or visit them. Got it. And what about managing my account? How do I make sure I don't spend more than I have? Great question. Most banks offer online banking, where you can check your balance, pay bills, and transfer money anytime. It's also wise to set a budget and track your spending. Online banking sounds convenient. Can I also withdraw money from any ATM? Yes, but be careful. Withdrawing from your bank's ATMs is usually free, but other ATMs might charge a fee. Good to know. And what if I need to send money to someone else's account? You can do that through online banking too. You'll need their account number and sort code. It's straightforward once you set it up. This is all really helpful, Fiona. One last thing, what should I do if I lose my debit card? Immediately contact your bank to report it lost or stolen. They'll cancel it and issue you a new one. It's also a good idea to review your recent transactions for any you don't recognize. Thanks, Fiona. I feel much more confident about banking now. You're welcome, Albert. Remember, managing your money wisely is key to financial health. Don't hesitate to ask your bank for help or advice when you need it. I definitely will. Thanks again for all the helpful information.